I have got something absolutely brilliant to show you today. This is a 1986 Sunseeker San Remo 33. And the brilliant thing about this is that it's completely time warped. Nothing's ever been done to it. We've seen a few of these recently where they've had a complete refit and everything's done and they're fantastic, of course. But it's superb to see a boat where it's just been looked after and kept completely and totally original. Now this boat, as I say, she's 1986 and she's only had two owners from new and the current owner has had over 20 years so just gives you an idea doesn't it of how you know if you look after these things then they really do last so we're going to come down here and give you the full tour now of course you go back to 1986 and things were very different so for example there's no transom door you used to be now saying well step on via the bathing platform where well, you don't with this because there's no way through but the difference of course is that the boats are so much lower so to step on the side is really easy you can't do that with a modern boat quite so well they're all really high up this one's got the camper canopy on i would suspect one well, no, i wouldn't suspect i know for a fact it has got a new cover on it and that's inevitable because those covers will never last 20 30 years i mean how old is this boat 35 years old but what you notice is the quality of things like the stainless steel all this kind of stuff and how solid it all is even these stripes are original now of course these take a real hammering because of course they get the uv light and so forth you can see in places they are just starting to go a little bit and that is inevitable but yeah this is how it came out of the factory it got bought it got used and here it is sat in torquay still being used let's go and have a look on board so I think what we'll do for a change is we're going to go around the outside first and then we'll come inside. So as I say, really easy to step on the side. You've got these little teak treads that take you on up. And a very flat foredeck on these because they were less obsessed with headroom back in those days. These days it's all about getting maximum volume inside, but this is lovely and low across here. And we can come right up to the front. You've got the electric anchor winch. Buttons for it are just there. And let's come right up here and swing on around because these sorts of boats I always think they just look fantastic from here look at that it's very purposeful isn't it I mean yes it is of its age look at the square windscreen on it it's uh, aluminium framed rather than stainless steel and the glass is completely flat panes they've just put three panes and angled it around rather than the sort of curved screen if you look at the Sunseeker next door for example which is a much newer example you can see it's a completely different look but you know this is what they were doing 35 years ago got the radar arch on this one you can see the radar there you can see in fact that all the letters where you say Raytheon are all gone apart from part of the N just because of UV degradation let's come on back and we will take a look on board I mean the big news of boats like this of course is a 30 foot twin diesel boat and these are so cheap um, compared to modern stuff. I think this boat, if I remember rightly, is on the market for about 30,000, something like that. It's quite remarkable how much boat you can get for the money, but of course there is a reason for it. Again, this is all original in here, it's quite remarkable. And what you do then is just slide that one back into place. Now, what the lack of a transom door gives you is a huge amount of seating because you can see how it circles all the way around here and you haven't got a break normally it comes along and then there's a, a bit of course where you walk through and a bit that opens and you lose some of the seating but this is just loads and loads of space and with this what they call a camper cover so rather than the cover just sloping down like this it goes out on a framework and then down just because you have massive space out here and of course all of this blue comes off and you can turn it into a completely open boat what else can i show you i'll show you the helm so up here, again, you can see it's all a bit faded, but it's all there. Just a couple of areas you can see where there's been a little bit of a running repair gone just there. And then the same on this side, but amazing for the year, absolutely amazing. If we look up here, this I love. These are the ignition keys and these are the original floats. And if you look, the phone number, instead of 01202 as they all are now, it's 0202, that's all those are. Um, that probably will make less sense to our uh, viewers who are not in the UK, but in the UK all our numbers are 01 and then the number. These days they changed it back in the 90s, I think. 
This is the engine instrumentation. Again, all very original, and you can see the engine clocks here as well, the hour meter. So this has got 1,400 hours on it. And uh, you know, if you think about that in terms of a, a truck, for example, which is a very similar sort of engine, that's nothing really. Um, the enemy of boats like this, in fact, is lack of use rather than too much use. It's the age that gets the engines rather than wearing out. If we come over to this side, throttle controls. Now, these are the old cable controls. There's no electronics with this. These connect via a big, long cable back to the engine. So they're, they're a bit stiffer, but very reliable. Look at this switch panel over here. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I love these toggle switches. Just brilliant. Battery crossover, in case you're wondering, you have engine start batteries and you have auxiliary batteries. And if your engine start batteries went flat, you can hit the crossover and it's like putting jump leads on. It jumps from the other batteries. Uh, trim tab controls. These are the original uh, Volvo Penta trim indicators so that when you trim up on the drives, which are via these buttons here, they actually trim the drives up and down and you can see the indicators for them there. And then this is your normal instrumentation. So uh, battery voltage, uh, oil pressure, water temperature, fuel gauge, and it's repeated, of course, on both sides. Just the one fuel gauge because there's just the one tank. So you've got an hour meter on that side. Um, and you've got a compass up here. And then the, uh, that's a GPS under there. But again, let's take that off. Look at that, it's the old original style. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Wooden Sunseeker steering wheel. And then we'll go and take a little look inside. So, if we head down here, I'll just show you this first of all. This is the lighting across the inside of the arch. And then down here, this is the interior. Again, gloriously original with the, uh, back in the 80s, Sunseeker so always put these louvre doors on. Um, and it's funny because for a long time that made the boat look very old fashioned. But actually, we've reached a point now where they're looking classic rather than old-fashioned. You know, it's a bit like an E-type Jag. You know, probably at, at 10 years old, it looked like an old car. But at 50 years old, it looks like a classic. And that's where this boat has become. You know, these old, the way they've done this, where these stick out proud. And everything in here is really, really solid. Same with this. This slides back so that you can get to the original gas cooker. The microwave in here as well. The original taps, everything's original. These original Sunseeker lights, they all had these back in the 80s. It's a real trip down memory lane for me, actually, because I started selling boats in 1989, so this kind of stuff was pretty current. You know, when I started selling boats, this would have been a three-year-old boat. This would have been pretty much the kind of thing that was being built at the time. So it's lovely to come back and see it again, and especially lovely to come and see it all looking so original. That's fantastic. So we'll head on forward. In here, you've got a double bed. So this is the owner's cabin. Again, for a 33-foot boat, by today's standards, not a massive amount of room. Um, but you've got a double bed in there. You've got a wardrobe in there as well. And you've got those, again, those funky lights up there on the ceiling that were so much the part of the Sunseeker style of the time. Um, Modern boats, you look at a 33-foot boat today and everything, of course, is so much bigger inside, but you get that by having the much bulkier shape on the outside. And that, I think, is what's great about this, is that original shape. If I use the E-Type Jag thing again, you know, you look at an E-Type Jag, there's not a lot of space, but what a lovely looking car. Very nice dinette area over on this side. And uh, if we look over here, you can see the Sunseeker switch panel. So that is all circuit breakers just there for flicking things on and off. You can see if, if they're off, then they pop out, as you can see, and then you push them in to activate them. You can probably hear the water pump there. And that's back off again. And then up here, you've got battery charger, uh, battery condition, charging rate, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this was state of the art back in the day. If we come back again now, we will find the mid cabin. That's tucked away in here. So you've just got a small area where you walk in and you uh, then immediately go right down and under the cockpit. So you've got room to stand and get changed. And then you drop down here. Oh, we can pick this up. There we go. We haven't got any lights in here for some reason. I can't even see any lights. There must be some somewhere. But that's a double bed in there. Now, again, on a modern boat, what they would tend to do is put that on the other side 
and then you have a, a lengthway seat in the cockpit that gives you headroom. You must have seen this if you've been watching my videos. The difference, of course, is by not doing that, you get the four forward-facing seats up here, which is something you don't get today. So that, you know, it's all a compromise with boats. You gain one way, you lose another way. And on this, the gain is all on the outside. Heads is here. So you've got the toilet and there is a shower, I think, that pulls out of here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. And then a shower curtain to protect that louvered wooden door. And actually, one thing I do notice on here, and you'd never get this on a modern boat. That's the fridge, by the way. I'm not sure I pointed that out earlier. Look at the steps that you've got to go over to get into the cabins. So you can see that actually drops back again on the other side. You have to sort of step, step over into the cabins. And it's just because that's how they built boats in those days. Now, today, that wouldn't be acceptable. People don't just walk in like they do at home. But back then, you can see it better on this one, actually. There we go. You step over <laughs> into the cabin like that. Ah, oh, it's just glorious. I'm so taken with this boat. It's fantastic. There we go. So this is Sunseeker Heritage. Look at the stuff they're building today. And it is absolutely magnificent, of course. And it's all kind of million pound plus stuff. There isn't very much in at all that's under a million pounds nowadays. But this is what Sunseeker's heritage was built on. It's built on boats like this. They're solid. They're good family boats. And, um, and here we are, 35 years down the line, but it's still providing good service. So, uh, yeah, this is where it all stems from. Sunseeker themselves date right back to the 70s, so they do go a lot earlier than this, in fact. This is not one of their first boats by a long chalk. Anyway, the last thing to talk about is engines. Now, to get to the engines again, very typical of the era, you have to move the seating around and, uh, and then get the floor up. You've got two panels here. So we're going to use a bit of magical video editing. Now, tucked away down here are a pair of Volvo Penta AQAD41 engines. There are two of them. The other one is down on that side. You can just see it over there. Obviously, you can get both of these hatches up. We've just got the one up so that we can show them to you. These are 200 horsepower each. And uh, I would think when this boat was brand new, this has got to be a 30 knot plus boat. I don't know what it'll do today. Generally, they use a few ponies over the years. But Again, it's all so very original, isn't it? Everything. It doesn't look like that's been out and repainted. It's all kind of as it was. You can see the hot water tank down over there as well and the battery boxes. It's absolutely remarkable. And these are fresh water cooled. They're straight six, so you've got your header tank there. These are cooled via seawater. So the seawater comes in and then cools the heat exchanger and then you get fresh water around the engines, which is why these tend to last a bit better than the petrol engines do, which tend to have the raw water going right around the block. Um, but yeah, those are the motors, and, uh, and you're going to cruise about like this probably at about 20, 25 knots, somewhere around there. Superb. Right, let's magic those back down. So there it is. Sunseeker San Remo 33, 1986. What a brilliant boat. I'm really pleased to bring this to you. It's so nice to see a bit of history see where it all began. Well, not began quite, because as I say, they began a decade or so before, but certainly very much one from the archives, isn't it? So, huge thanks to One Marine. They've got this boat for sale. In fact, I think they've already got a buyer for it from the sound of it, so by the time this video goes out, it's probably sold, but if you are interested, have a look on their website and see if it's still there. You never know. And, and huge thanks, of course, to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this little step back in time, and we'll look forward to catching you on another one very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.